Introducing first, he's fighting out of the blue corner. He steps into the cage tonight with a record of four wins and three losses. His height, five feet, 11 inches, and his weight, 146 and one half pounds. He trains with Bushido MMA, and he fights out of Padua. He steps into the cage tonight at a height of 5 feet 9 inches tall. His weight being 146.9 pounds. He trains with Guardian MMA and he fights out of Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And tonight in the Aries Fight Series cage, he presents to you an undefeated record of three wins and zero losses. Ladies and gentlemen, Blake at all today. Pittman, Blake. Man, Blake Grant, when that dude sees red in his eyes, it is over. Yeah, definitely would expect to finish in this one. Blake Grant, 100% finish rate. Uh, three of the four victories for Pittman have come by stoppage, so. You would think of finishes in the cards. It's some heavy low oh, kicks ooh. and some nice, nice uh, work with the hands I like there. that double right for Blake. Oh, he's got to be careful. looking to catch a low kick here. Grant definitely ate a left, and I don't think he enjoyed it because nope. that was uh, a really nice, nice counter shot landed by Pittman. These guys are both chopping at the leg, and they're both searching for a grab off those legs, too. You know, you think about this weight class, 145 pounds, the combination of speed and power. Both of these guys, you got to believe, are contenders, too, you know, for the title picture in I 2024. Mm -hmm. A win here would really catapult them towards that. Yeah, for both these guys, but, but Blake especially. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. We've seen Blake compete three consecutive Aries events and... Uh, look better each time. Yeah, and he's just got the look of a finished product. But yep. he's got to mind his P's and Q's here. This uh, this challenge oh, in Pittman like is dangerous. Pittman is dangerous. He's being very patient. Question mark kick. You know, we obviously see a lot of Blake Grant's uh, ink. I think he's picked up some new ink, but Pittman has uh, one on his back, born to fight. Oh, that's it. it. Yeah, tattoos. Yeah, that says a lot. Good catch there, he's. <laughs> yeah. A minute here remaining in the first. It's been a striking affair. Grant has definitely probably out volume his see? opponent. Yeah, Grant was looking for that for some time. Grant's starting to feel confident. Yeah. Pittman eating a lot of shots, but still walking forward. Yeah, you see the welts on the midsection there from all the body kicks of Grant. That one, two. Yeah, Grant is starting to cook a little bit. I just feel like Pittman is maybe working on his timing here, but with 25 seconds remaining in the first, I have to see something because uh, Grant has taken over this first. I like what I'm seeing from Grant here. This is, uh, oh, Ooh. he's got to be careful though, hands up. He drops the hands after the combo. That is one. And I wonder if Pittman's notes. starting to pick up on some of these reads. You would think he's been so patient around yeah. here. Yeah, Pittman has been uh, focused on the leg. They haven't had. A ton of success, but I mean, he's landed four or five good ones. Yeah. 
It's just Grant didn't stop throwing. You know, Grant was a volume machine there in round one. Perhaps we'll see the fight statistics at some point. This is one I would definitely, as the fight progresses, yeah. I'd be curious to see, because it feels like Grant is... I think Grant has some serious volume. He's out striking him three to one in my yeah. opinion. But, Pittman, uh, Pittman is dangerous. You just get the sense Pittman is in this fight. Yeah, it just makes you feel like Pittman is, is in this trap where he's gonna eat four to land one. And he's hoping that one of these is really gonna spot where it needs to be. Yeah, I mean, he's found the chin a couple times. Uh, even if, if you do hit Grant, it seems like he's got, if it ain't a great chin, he's definitely got the ability to recover, you know? It, 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 he doesn't get put out. He survives, he lives to fight another, you know, part of the round, and more often than not, he's doing the damage. Mm -hmm. All right, hey, round two, Aries Fight Series 23, co-main event, Blake Grant taking on Will Pittman. Really, really brutal first round. A lot of volume, a lot of good striking. We'll see if that is the trend. The continues mm, Pitt, here in the second. get really low here. That was an interesting way to start the second. What do you think he's doing there? I don't know. He, he, he changed his levels really fast. I, I'm not sure what that was about, but. You know, and I think that's, it seems like this is what the corner's trying to do is the same thing with Pittman is that they're, they're trying to read some of the combos here of Grant and, and uh, work on their timing here, but we got 220 remaining here in the second. We're you, gonna find out that's, that is, timing, this is the time to do it. That's a good point, Houston. Uh, for as vicious and as uh, much volume as there is from Blake Grant with his shots, it is a lot of, you know, it's the one-two right there. Yeah. It's the it's the low kick, low kick, question mark kick, you know? And uh, while they're effective techniques, if you just hit them a little more or maybe, uh, you know, use them in a little different combination, mm -hmm. obviously it's easy for me to sit here. And I mean, at the end of the day, uh, Grant is looking great. You know, he, he is. really is. He's looking great. We do see him a lot of times be a little bit more aggressive, but I mean, he's he's finding his home for his shots. He, he, I mean, look at that. Look at the thigh of Pittman. Oh, yeah, that's bad. I mean, that is that's that bad. is damage. That's right in front of us. That is looking like ground beef at the moment. I feel like I'm just waiting for Pittman to un unleash here. A lot of hesitation. Minute 30 to go here in round two of our co-main event at Aries 23. It's, it's a boxing masterclass right now yeah. from, from Blake Grant. Mouthpiece coming out for Grant there inadvertently. Wow, we'll see a lot of damage on the forehead here he as well. Is. I mean, that jab, the one two has really been landed. I, I feel like it's a lot of accuracy from Blake Grant tonight. Everything Blake is throwing with the hands is, is landing. It's right landed, now. yeah. I mean, he is. Uh, He's cooking, you know, you saw the Cook brothers get a win on the undercard right now. Blake Grant is cooking. He is. I mean, he is looking good. He's looked good in his other fights, but he's looking like a stud. He is putting on a striking clinic here against Will Pittman. It's a different style, but he's putting up like Bryce Warner striking numbers. Uh, yeah. You know, it's yeah. uh, it's really, really something to see. That damage on that front left leg, Houston. We saw a fight end earlier That's tonight. Bad. A fighter was compromised on their leg, you know, and we might be on the verge of our second of the evening. And, Man. Grant's taking advantage. Really good stuff here by Blake Grant with 10 seconds to go in round two. Oh, man. Starting to open up now. It's just not enough coming back from Pittman. He's got to string a couple punches together. Yep, and you see him cover up. He got him. Yeah, he's I mean, covered Grant, up quite a few times here. Grant is, is coming like an avalanche down a mountain right now. He really he has so much yep. momentum and confidence. And he's seeing everything. And uh, if that doesn't change, Pittman could be in store for a long round three. No, and, and you're absolutely right. The thigh, the outside. Thigh here of Pittman. Oh my goodness. He's getting bad. Yeah, I'm sure we'll see that as the fight continues. That is, uh, it's looking like football laces are embedded in the man's, <laughs> yeah. in the man's thigh. Whew. Wow. Blake Grant looks no worse for wear. He's, he's, he's igniting his fan base. Bla Blake Grant. Kick his corners off. I know, that's Did really, yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> he's that's amazing. Out of here. I'm good. That's amazing. Luke Wilson had to send him back to his corner. <laughs> I feel like. 
like uh, Grant is late for an appointment or something. Not he just he's... wants to get this done and go out for dinner. Or he's got something else more important to do, it seems like. Well, look for him to, you know, be as aggressive as ever here in round three. If Pippen's going to do something, he's got to do it now. Three-punch blitz there from the butcher, Blake Grant. Now going to the inside of that compromised leg. Grant, really educated striking here tonight. Ooh. Spin kick just grazed there. Grant is really, uh, that's such a confident technique to throw right now. You know, that's what I'm saying, yeah. I think he's he, he knows where he's at in the judge's scorecard. And he, he wants to throw some flash, it's the time to do it. Yeah, he's doing what he wants. This might be it might be highlight tape time here for yeah. Blake Grant if he gets the chance. I mean, he's got to respect his opponent. But it might be time. Will Pittman's having a tough time right now downloading what Blake Grant's doing. Yeah, I agree. Nice check left there from Pittman. Yep. Minute 40 left, and it's going to be a long minute 40, I feel like, if, if Pittman hangs out at striking range too much longer mm -hmm. with Blake Grant. Corner saying it's time to take him out, Will. And, and, and you're right, you know, a minute 30 remaining, if he's going to do it, this time to open up and, and let the power out. But I think that much easier said than done against a guy like Blake Grant. Yeah, and that leg again, you know, it's That's discolored. Bad. Yeah, it's bad and it's going to be it's worse be, tomorrow. Got to be hard to move around on that thing. Nice body shot, straight body shot, straight right, straight left from wow. Grant. And Grant is really just taking what the defense of Pittman is giving him right now. He's just hanging out at striking range and really not offering much resistance. Got 30 seconds to go here. If Pittman's going to do something. Oh, you hear him? Blake Grant said, like, come on, let's do it. He's, like I said, 30 seconds in. Pittman's got to make a decision on here. Oh, I, I think that's all that leg can take, too. Yeah, it just... You see it, Pittman yep. kind of standing on the toe of that leg at that point. I don't blame him for it. It's hard to generate power for much anything. Ooh. Nice check left there from Pittman. Ten seconds to go. He's going to have to put some more of that together. If Blake Grant stays on his bike, he's very likely in store for win number four. Got to be careful here, though. All right, there it is. Three rounds. Good. I thought for sure we get a finish in that one, you know? <laughs> yeah, I did too. I think that we saw the, the most out of Pittman in the last 30 seconds of that fight, unfortunately. I think a lot of it had to do with what Blake Grant was presenting. You know, 100%. Blake, Blake Grant was really 100%, complex. 100%, yeah. The volume, he looks to be in great shape. I feel like he could fight another three rounds right now at that style, at that pace, and he could just do it all night. Yep. So Blake Grant, by getting the 4-0 here, which we assume that he will in just moments, will have the decision. Really puts him in the mix for a lot of interesting fight opportunities in 2024. You know, here we are on January 5th. And if he's got some goals to accomplish this year with a performance like that and an unbeaten record, Houston, what do you think could be in this man's future? How high could we see him fight? You know, it's funny because I was just thinking the same thing right now. Is who's, who's his next opponent? You know, really, let's see. It's, it's a title mind. time, you know, you gotta consider but, uh, five and oh, obviously, I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, four and oh, but he, uh, all, all the wins have been here at the Joe. Right. Right, so, does he have a fight night in Chattanooga? Does he want to start slowly, you know, extending his tentacles into different cities? And uh, not that he can't, I mean, we have big fights here at the Joe all the time. What I'm just saying is for the next step for Blake, whether it's a, a title fight, whether it's a, a really high level matchup. Yeah, get out of his home base a little bit. Well, it's yeah. just a thought, you know, I'm not, right. I would love to see him compete here every time we come here, but I'm just curious how that would play. Yeah. Join another land screen to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of three grueling rounds, this decision has gone to your judges' scorecards.
Judges Lisa Dorn, Harlan Bolton, and Johnny Stewart all see it the same way. Giving scores of 30 to 27, your winner by way of unanimous decision. Great!